Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. This is Eddie Man. Today we're going to start a new series. Um, I actually was contemplating this over the last couple of days or so, and I've been checking it out, I'm playing it off camera, and I'm really interested in this new mod called Warptorio. Uh, now, I went ahead and just made sure it was updated. Um, this mod set we're just going to use afraid of the dark um to uh better um give you to better light up the the screen for you guys on youtube and obviously the waltorio map um mod <clears throat> build your base on a platform that follows you from planets to planets and escape biters well should be one t <laughs> before they overwhelm you Okay, so this mod uh, is pretty intense. I uh, it starts off slow, uh, but the main focus is that the um, pollution cloud uh, and the way the game generates pollution has been tweaked to the highest setting, or oh, one of the highest setting. I don't know exactly how high, but I don't know how that works. Uh, but the mod tweaks the their pollution cloud like crazy amounts um, and eventually you start getting overwhelmed by the biters including the small ones well I think uh, we could build up a, uh, a, um, a defense where we can defend ourselves from the small biters but once they start evolving um, then things start getting a little crazy now the whole concept is to be able to build uh, on this platform here which obviously the mod lets you expand it and make it bigger and bigger and that's where you would build your primary base on um, as you're seeing a little bit here um, we'll start off small and we'll work our way uh, and get bigger upgrades and such now there is two other levels on the platform uh, so you have the initial base on the top and then like factorismo um, where you can go into a building and I believe you can only do that twice. Now I'm not sure if there's uh, upgrades um, going forward uh, in the late game to increase that, but I think it's only two levels. Well, after the first level, of course. Um, now you'd start on a map. Um, now the, f the map you'll see in the preview in just a little bit won't be the only map we're going to be playing on. Now, when you decide to warp, hit the warp button, uh, you'll see in a little bit, uh, it'll transport you to another world. Now, that's super awesome. But once you leave a world, I don't think you can go back to the previous one. So whatever you have, like miners down or anything in that sort, um, power, you try to pick up as much as you can before you have to leave. Now, um, I've seen other players... Uh, just warp and leave everything. That's okay. You can do that But you kind of want to create like a stockpile if that happens uh, you'll be able to build uh, Miners and such again power substations power poles all that good stuff turrets ammo um, So without further ado, let's go ahead and proceed forward now um, If you guys have any ideas for mods you can go ahead and jot that down in the comment section and I'm always open to add more mods to the playthrough um, but I want to be as vanilla as possible for this one um, I think um, well Torio itself is a big mod um, but yeah let's just get into the swing of things here let's just confirm that and we'll go in start a new game here uh, seed I'm not sure you know what let's just preview what we have here and water is kind of far away. I believe we got to start here. Um, Biter's up there. Okay. I think that'll be okay for the start. We're not worried about cliffs. We're not going to be building a big base, at least at this level here. Um, not sure if I should tweak any of these settings. Richness. I want to put it to 150. Nah, you know what? 
let's just leave everything the way it is. Uh, terrain. I believe you can't tur totally turn cliffs off anymore. Nope, you cannot. You can minimize them like that, but you can't totally turn them off anymore. Nope. That's a bummer. Okay, we'll just deal with that. I'm not the one that's um, too excited about cliffs, as you can see. <laughs> uh, moisture, terrain types will leave. Water, trees will leave. There's plenty of trees. Uh, enemies will let the mod um, have these settings here. I don't want to tweak any of that with, the, with that. But I do want to turn on... Um, this always research queue avail availability. I want to be able to queue up researches. A recipe is normal, technology normal. That's fine. That's all going to be okay. Okay, and let's go ahead and proceed forward here. And again, the uh, information on the mod will be down in the description section. Uh, this is Factorio. If we play your test to so launch a rocket into space, do the construct a rocket into silo. And launching a rocket. Okay, yeah. Standard stuff. So here's our platform here. Uh, okay. It's a standard size right now, and we'll be able to research um, and upgrade the platform here. Okay, and I believe there's no multiplier on these technologies. Okay, that's fine. That will be okay. Warp reactor logistics. Um, warp reactor logistics will give you the warp teleporter and underground platforms a built and pipe transfer system oh nice okay okay uh, warp teleporter upgrade the warp teleporter needs electricity and can be used to move you and objects around okay that's uh, something I didn't see in so all these purple things are for the mod here that's cool Upgrade allows the warp reactor to process some of the energy it harnesses when it warps and also creates uranium fuel cells in the process. Awesome. See, I didn't see any of these later things because I only watched like all uh, beginner parts of the mod here. So this is going to be interesting. Okay. So yeah, obviously you can walk off the, the platform, but anything on the platform will teleport with you. Uh, to the next world. So yeah, I just entered that like to, uh, like Factorissimo. Uh, so the top will always be the level up and the bottom will be the level down. So right now we only have uh, the main level. We have a subsection one and a subsection two here to build things. Now, um, when I saw the upgrade for the platform, it only upgraded the size of the first platform here. Now right now this and this is the same size, and it, yeah, this is the same size too. <clears throat> and you can tell by the f the floor tiles here what level each one is. Um, this is the only one that gets bigger, and I believe it goes out four tiles by four tiles for each upgrade, at least the first upgrade that is. Okay, and then the warp reactor gives us our necessary uh, way to transport. Now there's no fuel; um, you kind of just warp here. And up here, this uh, leads to the next thing. Time pa passed on this on this planet, so it gives you a count up. Uh, charge time. Uh, it takes 10 seconds to charge the warp reactor to get out of here. And warp number is zero. Now, this number will go up every time you want to uh, warp out, so you always want to keep that in mind as well. <clears throat> All right, so let's just stop building like no normally we, we would. Um, let's see, this is kind of far, but this will be okay. <clears throat> Just start with our standard, get some wood here. So we start making those power poles eventually. Yeah, I didn't realize iron was going to be so far away. That's okay, we're not going to be on here that long okay stop with 
that. And alt mode. So we'll see what we're crafting there. Okay. Fortunately, there's not a lot of stone rocks here. So we will, we're going to have to um, depend on the stone patch here. Set that up. Okay. And we don't have anything. This was not really a good start, but that's okay though. We'll make we'll make do. We will make do. I wish there was more rocks. As you can see the pollution cloud is crazy, just one machine. So it's only a matter of time before we will get overrun by these biters. And we want to be able to make another set here. So we'll do that and that. Those are cliffs, those aren't rocks. Oh, the water is not that far from the platform. Okay, okay. And obviously the platform acts as concrete. Um, so you do run a little faster, which is good. Okay. So we got some iron cooking here. Let's go ahead and get some more stone and then we'll get some things cooking on copper and eventually we'll get out of this cold process here of things and we'll get power going so we can start building things on our platform. Okay, now our smelting column will be obviously built on the platform but we'll try to go ahead and get platform upgrade one before we actually warp out so that is the goal but obviously this is not a good start so it's gonna be a little bit oh, we want to go ahead and put this on copper so we can start getting some let's go this way instead Okay. Just get a couple of coal here, just so we have them on us. Okay, and then I'll get two of these. I'll go get some iron, and then hopefully we can build two. Of the burner miner drills to put on coal, so we don't have to mine coal anymore. At least, and then we'll have to get one for for a stone. I decided not to use my cam for this app for this series. Um, I know you guys are hopefully you guys aren't bummed out about that. <laughs> watched some of my older videos and saw that it's kind of a distraction um, so I'm just minor tweak for the series okay. all right so that's our coal there and this is already out these trees don't last long at all Okay, so that gives us access to coal now, a steady stream of coal. Let's go ahead and put some of this in here. Obviously, right when that happens, we run out of coal for those miners. That miner's out too. Okay. 
just going to be a running game back and forth. I'll have to get some power and some science online ASAP here. Put that in there. Get this going. Okay. <clears throat> Stone. I'm going to mine 15 stone here. Not 15 because I want to get uh, a burner miner drill for stone and I want to get two more for coal. Let's go check iron again. Okay. Okay, let's make that complete flower there. And we're not really going to be here that long to even suffice for that. So let's get stone going on there. Not as important for the copper as it is the iron. We need some stone also to get some power going. Yeah, I do apologize, guys, about the slow start. I just did one roll and just started playing on the first roll. But I think it'll be okay. Let's go get some more trees here. I'm going to start making a stockpile on our ship of resources just in case. Since we don't have that much military. And there will always be abundance of trees, even if even if we spawn in a desert. Um we will be okay. Thank you, all to save. Let's look at this row here of trees. Okay. So we want to do at least one more for our iron. Copper is okay. Let's go ahead and start building some power. So then we can start doing some research and such. setting up some bar here. Okay, we get power going on the platform. Okay, so putting a power pole here gives us power to this building, which then we can go ahead and put a power pole there, and then we'll have power inside on this first platform. Now the same thing will work down here. Um, but right now we'll go ahead and just start building our science in here so it's nice and safe. Oh boy. And we had our first spider attack. Okay, can we repair this? Yes, we can. Okay, good. Kind of scared me, guys. I kind of jumped there. <laughs> Alright, so we're 12... 
12 minutes in, we got a first. Oh boy, they're coming in numbers already. This is not good, guys. We don't even have research yet. Okay. Uh, we need more iron. Spiders are kind of close, aren't they? Oh boy. Yep. Pollution cloud is already. Let's see, they're already coming in here. Jeez Louise, am I not going to be able to? Am I not going to be able to go forward here? Are they just going to keep coming? I don't have turrets, I don't have anything yet. Can't let them destroy the. Wow. This got harder than. <laughs> I thought we were going to have some more time here, but this is just going to get crazier and crazier. We might have to warp out. Yep, and then we're over here taking out the stone. Yep. This is crazy, guys. I don't even have any. Okay. We are warping to the next planet. Already soon, but. And whatever's on the platform follows you. So. Okay. Get all this going here. Yep. And they'll just dest destroy everything on the first planet. But here we go. We have we have copper right here. We have water. Iron is far away again. But that's pretty much the concept. It's pretty cool. Um, and obviously, it's going to get much harder. As the biters evolve and such. Let's just mine up what we can here. I like this coal rocks here. And again, we'll have to build power and everything again here. The only thing I don't see is coal. And as you can see, the charge timer is 11 seconds now instead of 10. Yeah, I don't see coal. That might be a little problem. I might have to warp out of here right away because I don't see all oh, the coals on the other side of iron. Okay. Alright, we'll just deal. We gotta get science going. And we don't have enough iron to make. 
repair pack. Do I have it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Should I restart? Yes, but am I going to? No, let's just... We got this. We definitely got this. Okay, get that coal flower going again. Alright, we'll put this in there, so out of our hands. Alright, repair pack. Uh, the repair packs I want to put on my belt there. All right. Stone. Oh, we can't make one of those. Okay. Let's just get this going again. Is there stone? Yes, there's stone up here. I don't know where the biters are going to be coming from. But we're going to go get power going, and then we are going to get as much stone as we can this time. Make a couple of stockpile items inside my building there. Let's put this there and put that there. And then we'll just reach out to Hugh. Put some power here again. Uh, copper. Oh, it's been an eventful episode already, huh? Well, let's just get the copper going here. Okay. We'll place down our science. And obviously, we can't do anything until we get power going again. And I won't be able to do that until I get some copper in again. Now, iron. I think I expanded a little too much on the first map and didn't build fast enough. Lessons learned, right? Lessons learned. Okay, get power again going. Like so. Okay, well, let's get our first research which will be automation, obviously. And then we'll do turrets. All right, so. Need more iron to make 10 more packs. So let's grab that, grab supply of coal here. Stone. some packs to put in here. That was from the previous world. Okay. Scared me for a second. <laughs> okay, and then we need to make some more firearm magazines for myself. Pollution cloud is huge again. I need more iron. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, automation's done. We'll get turrets online. Okay. And I'm gonna look at the science again really quick. I think do we want warp mining productivity, upgrade your mining equipment with warp technology. Okay. Yeah. And then um we want to get the warp platform done. I think that's important too. I don't think I, I think I'm okay with that logistics right now. Still, power. I'm gonna try to pick up our power station this time before we leave. Around the 12 minute mark is when things start getting a little hairy. This time I have turrets. Maybe I can last for the 20 minutes. Let's <clears throat> get these trees. I don't know why I'm worried about trees, but it's a good source of. fuel if I don't have coal. Okay. Let's add the copper here. Turrets, then just about done. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put a turret or two out here. I want to put one by power, and obviously two on the platform. Checked in the So let's do that. Let's start by the platform here. Put the one here. On here they come. is going to be the issue now. Things are multiplied, right? No, they're not. Okay. Just took out the power. Okay. Starting to get a little hairy. Just a little bit. As long as they keep coming from that way. And that's only a matter of time before they come from this direction. Though. Yeah, we're still good with coal. We might have to, you know, let's pack up the stone for now.
Okay, we have some science packs, so let's go ahead and put them in here. Okay, we're going to want to double up on our science soon. Get out of here. Scummy, scummy, scummy. Don't have a lot of iron. Taking a risk here. Seriously? I got the power. Right, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap up this episode here. Uh, I'm going to Press on a little bit on this level and see how far I get. Um, and I'll bring you guys in on the next warp out. Okay? Right now, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Factorial Warp Tutorial. Uh, I've been Eddie Man, and if you haven't yet, please go ahead and consider throwing me a like for the video. It greatly helps me and the channel out. And if you want to stay up with everything Eddie Man, please subscribe to the channel as well. Don't forget to leave your questions and comments in the comment section. And like always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.